I am very excited about this game. It looks impeccable. Um, the story sounds really interesting. The voice cast is incredible. So without further ado, let's watch this together and see what's in store for us. And fall interactive. Soon she'll wake and paint again. Paint a new number, ticking down every year. One stroke, and everyone of that age vanishes into nothingness. Every year she paints again. And every year, Goosebumps. an expedition departs for the continent with one hopeless mission. Destroy the Paintress so she can never paint death again. We'll break the cycle so she can't steal anyone else's future. This world is full of wonders. Yet everywhere we go, we walk with death. Do you mean it? We're the only ones left. This fighting style looks so cool. Look at that enemy too. The designs, the character, the enemy designs. Oh my god, it's so cool. Oh my god, look at their weapons. Oh, he's got a lightsaber. It was a glowing sword, but it reminded me of Beat Saber. I mean... We lay the trail for those who will come after. Right? We are Expedition 33. Guys, ah. Oh. Full body goosebumps the entire time. Is it just me? It can't be just me. Like, what a cool concept. And visually, it looks so beautiful. And then, of course, we get, we're we getting narration by Ben Starr. Like, are you kidding me? It's so good. Combat is a cross between FF16 and Persona. That's what I, yes, yes. It, I haven't played Persona yet, but similar to what I just played with the re Fantasio one, similar, right? Why am I already crying? Exactly. Like, I know we're gonna cry a lot with this one. Can we watch it again? The audio was too low at first. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can watch it one more time anyway. Here we go. Round two, and then we'll watch the one with the voice cast um, introductions. I'm wondering if this is just damage. And paint again. Paint a new number. Ticking down every year. One stroke. And everyone of that age vanishes into nothingness. Every year she paints again. And every year an expedition departs for the continent with one hopeless mission. Destroy the Paintress so she can never paint death again. We'll break the cycle so she can't steal anyone else's future. This world is full of wonders. Yet everywhere we go, we walk with death. Do you mean we're the only ones left? Yeah, look how cool it is. And look at like their weapons, if you catch them in action or like on their backs too. They're cool weapons. I'm really excited to see like how, look at that one, how they level up through their weapons or if they get new ones at all. There's obviously like magic imbued in the weaponry too, like this, it's so cool. Even if we fail, 
We lay the trail for those who will come after. Right? Again. We. Got me again. Our Expedition 33. Ooh. This is the new one with Ben Starr. Yup, sounds like a great premise. Great getting to hear Ben again, but where is Charlie? I need Cox. <laughs> Wait! Wait. All right. <laughs> Let's go watch because this should help uh, set the set the scene for all the different voice actors here. Cast reveal Expedition 33. Here we go. Their memories. Their dreams. Their love for each other. We exist for as long as she wants. You won't yet understand. But this is a kindness, not a cruelty. The plan doesn't change. We keep heading north. We aim for the monolith. I am not letting my elf die out here. I've been having nightmares. They, all the the um, cast at the end there, right? So Ben Star is the Verso, and I've seen people asking, "Is he the bad guy?" And they're like, "Verso is just Verso." So like, very interesting. Um, and then the older guys, voiced by um, Andy Circus. Hello, amazing. <laughs> And Charlie Cox, I think, is is the main guy. Like, so he's going to be like throughout it. Hello, it's Daredevil. It's Charlie Cox. This is amazing. Um, but yeah, hearing Ben Starr's voice again, definitely. And then in tandem with Andy Circus, like, ah, it's just, it's so, it's so perfect. It's so good. I cannot wait. So that's why I'm super excited about this game. If you see me like getting hype about it. This is why, because it just looks absolutely beautiful. This one didn't only give me goosebumps, but shivers as well. Yeah, no, I'm literally like, when you see me go, that's the, like, I'm like shaking it off. <laughs> the Paintress sounds like a very cool antagonist. Yes, I actually went trying to look for more detailed images of her and there's nothing yet. I'm so curious to see like her character design because all you really see is like, She's very shadowy, and then she's got that long blonde hair. It's such a strange premise. I wonder if they pulled inspiration from any real world mythological sources. I can't think of any that sounds similar. Um, the only thing I saw was something about it being inspired by the Bella Pock. Um, but I'm gonna have to look into that more because I don't know. But yeah, that was what I wanted to share with you guys. I am glad everybody else seems to be getting the same response that I am, because that just means it's not just me. Um, and you guys will be into it too when we get to it. I cannot wait to play.